So then I'm going to show you how to use duplicate elements in Geometry Nodes. And I will show you some tips. So let's see. Let's get the camera, the light, go to Geometry Nodes. Let's hide this panel. And let's keep this one. Because I want to show you something here. Let's get a new profile. And let's use this default cube. In Geometry Nodes, there is a lot of ways to make copies of one single object. We can use, for example, any curve and convert the points of a curve to instance. But today we are going to use duplicate elements. So this node, how the name says, it duplicates the elements of the previous geometry. So now we only have points. Why? Because this converts the object to the element that we have selected. So what is an element? Element is all this. Point, edges, faces, spline, instance. And now we are getting only points, only vertex. And you can check it here. Look, I'm going to move this. You can see that we have all the mesh, vertex, edges, faces, face corners. But when we select this with points, we only get eight points. So we lose all this. Okay, now if you want to duplicate this, then here we have the number of copies. If I click here and I select two, now we have two times the number of points. So we have 16 vertex. If I select three, we have three times the points. Okay, you get it there. Now, if I select edge, now we have a copy of edges. So here we can see that we have edges and vertex. Why vertex? Because to connect an edge, always we need vertex points. So when we select edges, we get edges and point. And the same with faces. Now we have faces, but at the same time we have edges and vertex because to see a face we need at least four edges and four points. And then here we have splines, this only works for curve, and then we have instance. Why we don't see anything and we don't have anything when we select instance? Because this is not an instance. If you want to see an instance, a copy of an instance, then we need to convert this to instance. How? With geometry to instance. Now if we add this node, we are converting the geometry to instance. So this can make a copy of an instance. And now I have selected three, so we have three instance. Perfect. Now maybe you're thinking, but why are they in the same position? Because we don't have any control to offset the copies. So the three copies are here. If you want to offset the copies, then we need to use set position. And usually, what we have to do to offset, to control every distance of every copy is to use the index node. So if we use index node and connect it here, now we can see that the copies are being offset. However, we don't have to use this. Why? Because here we have already like the index node inside this node. So duplicate index, it gives you the index of every copy that we have. So we don't need to use index node. And if I connect it here, you will see it's the same. Now, why is being offset like that? Because if you connect this directly to offset, you are offsetting every copy in the three axes. So in X, in Y, and in Z. So the result is something like that. If you want to have more control and, for example, offset it in this axis, then we need to use Combine I and select the axis that we want. So now we are using X, but you can use Y or if you want Z. Now, let me delete this and I'm going to use a cube node because it has one value and it's easier to see. So now remember, we have three copies and I'm isolating the offset and I'm going to offset it in the X. So if we don't add anything, every copy is being offset one value, one meter. So this is the original position and the next one is in one meter, one value, and the other one in another meter. So we have three copies, zero, one, two, equal three copies. So now you understand how this works. Now, how we can control the offset? To control the offset, before this, we need to add a math node and select multiply. Remember that multiply is like a scaling when we work with vectors. So if we multiply by zero, we are saying we don't want any separation. And if we increase this, we can control the distance between every copy. 
And here, remember, we can control the number of copies. So, for example, if you want to do an animation of having an object and duplicate it in a lot of objects, then what you can do is to select zero, create a keyframe, and then go forward and increase this. Something like that, for example. And insert another keyframe. And if we press play, we have this animation. Okay, let's take the keyframes. And now let's see how we can, for example, change the original position. So here, when we set this, always is from this point. But what if I want these cubes in the center, in 0, 0, 0? So to do this, we need to, we need to add here a math node and just move this in negative value. So in minus something. You can do it like this, or just select subtract and then have to be positive. So, for example, something like that. Okay, now, which number is? Let's select, for example, 5. And let's try to see, more or less, which number is. So, should be something like here. Like 2. Okay, now, why this number? Because if we have 5 copies and we divide it by 2, it's not 2. So, always, you have to think that the first copy doesn't count. So to know which number is, because now, if I select this, but I increase the number of copies, ah, everything is wrong. So to solve this, always get the number that you want. So now we are working with x, x minus 1, because the first copy always is 0, remember, index is 0, and then the result divided by 2. So for example, if I select 7, so in this case will be 7 minus 1 is 6 divided by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is the number. Okay. However, it's really annoying to update this because if we want to increase this or make animation, ah, we cannot control this. So what's the solution? The solution is to apply this operation with nodes here and make it automatic. So let's add an integer. And with this, we can control the number of copies. And now let's convert this in note. So this will be the result, okay? If you are lost, I'm going to write this. And now we have this, this is x. So this is this. And now we need to subtract minus one. So let's add a math note, select subtract, and say, get this value minus one. Subtract one. And then with this, we have to divide it by two. And we'll get this. So we need another node. Select divide. And the result connected here. We are connecting this and divide it by two. And now this, the result connected here. And you can see that now is perfectly aligned. We have five here and five here. So let me add some notes. This is divided by 2, and this is minus 1. So now you can see better what I'm doing if you got lost. I just convert this operation with this simple node. So now every time I change this, all the time will be perfectly aligned in the center. And here, remember, you can control the distance between them. Now, let's duplicate this to see what more we can do. So let's move all this. Select Shift D and make a copy. Let's disconnect this, move it here, connect it and connect it. Now what I want is to have copies in this axis. So the only thing we have to do is to change this and select Y axis. And now what we are doing is duplicating the previous setup. I'm going to change this name and select Y, and I'm going to do a group here. So I'm going to leave this outside, select all this, and press Ctrl G to create a group. To go out of the group, press Tab to enter Tab. So this group will be the group to duplicate in X axis. 
and this one is the next one. So with this, we can control the number of copies in this axis. So now we have one. We can say, I want more. And with this one, the number in Y. So I want less or more. Always duplicating the previous one. Now let's do the same, but in this axis. So let's copy this again. Shift D. And here, select this axis, G. And now let's make two groups. By the way, I forgot to copy this. Let's cut it here and here. And I change the name for G. Now let's make a group, Control G. And let's make a group of these two. So as you can see, now we have three copies of the same setup, but we only change the axis that we are selecting, we are offsetting. And the next copy of the setup is duplicating the previous setup. So with this, I'm going to select one, one, and you can see it better. One. So now we have only one instance, and I can say I want three in this axis, and now I want, for example, two, three, four, and I want this number in this axis. So we can start building this multi burst of cubes really easy. And now, a good question. However, if we do this, it's going to be a bit crazy, as you can see here. But what if I want to change all this for other objects? How we can do that? What we have to do, because if you add here instance on points, it's going to be crazy, trust me. For example, let's add UbiSphere. Now it's happening and it's been a bit lagged. I need to decrease the number of copies because it was being lagged. What I want you to understand that we are not changing the copies. We are adding instance on points. So look, to understand better, I'm going to mute this. We have these cubes. So if you add this after, we are adding a copy in every point. So we are getting more and more and more and more instance. Look, that's why we have these little UV spheres in every corner of the cube. So the solution is to not use this. Delete this, delete this, and use points. So now, let me mute this. We are going to use points. However, we cannot see the points because we need to come back here and select points. And do the same with the other nodes. Select everything points, points. So now we have only one point and we are not duplicating all the corners of the previous cube. And we have eight points. So two multiplied by two by two equal eight points. And now that we have points, it's much easier to add instance on points. So if we have eight points, let's able this. Now we have exactly eight instance. So these numbers will be the exact number of the instance that we'll get. And your computer will work faster. And with the simple duplicate elements, we created this cube that we can customize with this node. I know you can do this with the volume cube, but I wanted you to show you how to do it with this node. So at least you understand how to build this multi-universe of UV spheres or any object that you want. Remember, we can add, for example, now icospheres. And if you want to control this from here, what you have to do is to connect this to group input. So let's delete all this and let's connect this here, this here, and look how here we are getting these controls. And this here. But I recommend you to change the name. Press N, go here, and select the first one. Double click was X. So now we have the three controls here. And now from here, we can control the number of instance, always from the center. 
And if you want to control the distance, then you should add this, for example, here, and now, and now do the same with the other ones. So here we can control the distance, for example, of this axis. I'm going to do it really fast. So I just added all the offset here. And now we have all the control here. So I can offset any axis that I want. And I could do this animation where you can do like layers and out of things if you are really creative. So I hope you liked this video. I know it was a bit longer, but at least I hope you learn a lot of new things and how to build your own setup. And if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can download this project and many more on my pattern. And see you in the next video.